Many people have asked me uh, over the years, and, and particularly um, in recent times with these blogs, uh, is it worth buying a PC-based oscilloscope? And in general, the answer is no. I wouldn't waste your money buying a PC-based oscilloscope. Now, I've uh, designed, published, and um, even sold uh, digital storage oscilloscopes, um, you know, many years ago. Um, you know, so it's, it's not like I don't like them. It's just that uh, in comparison to a proper bench oscilloscope like this, I think they're very, very poor value for money. Now, the first reason is that they're not portable. They're tied to a PC. And, um, well, you know, a lot of people will argue that, you know, oh, you know, I've always got a PC next to me. Well, you know, here I am out in my uh, workshop, out in my lab, and there's not a PC to be seen. I don't have a PC out here. Right, so let's actually do a comparison of some PC-based oscilloscopes compared to the Rigol one I've been talking about. Now, I've done a little comparison chart here. Yeah, I hope you can see that. Now, what I'm comparing is uh, three um, PC-based oscilloscopes. The SDS200A from Soft DSP, the uh, Bitscope 100, and the uh, Hantec DSO5200, uh, which is rebadged under other names and things like that, and it's available cheaply on eBay. I'm com comparing these three against the Rigol, DS1052E, and let's see how, it, how they stack up. Now, if you look at the uh, analog bandwidth, you'll see that the, um, uh, all three of the PC-based oscilloscopes um, claim to have a better analog bandwidth than the um, cheap Rigol Benchscope, and, well, they do. Uh, they do have a better analog bandwidth. But the point is, uh, when you're buying a digital storage oscilloscope, is that you want to use it in single shot mode. That's why you have a digital storage oscilloscope, so that you can actually capture it, uh, capture the waveform, uh, single shot, and analyze it, uh, which you can't do on an analog oscilloscope. Now, to get the single shot bandwidth, um, we have to look at the uh, sample rate as well, but I've also got um, the uh, claimed uh, single shot bandwidths for some of these models. But uh, let's look at the sample rate, shall we? Because the um, PC-based oscilloscopes are not from the major manufacturers, um, they just basically cannot get a high sample rate. That's why they're cheap, and uh, this is why they have low sample rates, because they just don't have the technology to sample at the one gig sample per second like the Rigor one does. So let's look at them. We've got 100 meg samples per second slash 50, for the SDS200 if you want dual channel. The Bitscope's only 40 meg samples per second. That's, you know, that's like, you know, 15, 20 year old technology. And the um, Hantec is uh, 200 meg samples per second, which is quite respectable. Now, the um, SDS200A has a claimed single shot bandwidth. This is from their data sheet of 50 megahertz. What complete bullshit. If you look at the sample rate, it's only 100 meg samples per second in single channel mode, or 50 meg samples per second in single shot mode. So that is absolute complete bullshit. It's real if you take the uh, single shot bandwidth rule of thumb divide by 10, which is what I typically take it at, and then it's single shot bandwidth is only 10 megahertz slash 5 megahertz. <laughs> you know? Not a very useful scope at all for your $1,100. Now the other ones, like the Bitscope 100 at 40 meg samples per second, it's only going to give you a um, effective single shot bandwidth of 4 megahertz. Once again, that's you know it's down in the toy category, and you're paying 575. You're paying 575 dollars, which is you know more than the a proper Rigol bench oscilloscope, but it's got extra features which we'll get onto later. Now the um, Hantec uh, DSO5200 is, um, because it has 200 meg samples per second, uh, it, it has a claimed single shot bandwidth of 80 megahertz. Now once again, that's complete bullshit. I reckon it's only about 20 megahertz in practice. Once again, that divide by 10 rule of thumb that we'll take. 
Okay, so you know, it, it's, it's quite usable. So this one is probably the uh, pick out of these three because it's the cheapest. It's got the highest analog band, uh, the highest sample rate, and um, the highest uh, single shot bandwidth. But it's still no match for the Rigol at its one gig sample per second and a 50 megahertz um, true single shot real time bandwidth. Now, of course, I know what you're thinking. One of the big advantages of PC based oscilloscopes is that they can do other things, especially the bit scope. Um, it's got an 8-channel logic analyzer as well um, with similar sort of sample rates of 40 megahertz and that's that's kind of useful but, it, but it's not a compelling feature really um, especially when you're after a real general purpose you know high performance um, you know a lab scope it's um it's a bit of a toy and it's got an arbitrary waveform generator as well and you know in my opinion arbitrary waveform generators are highly overrated um you rarely ever need to use them in practice and um so you know it, it sounds great but um you know it, it really is not a compelling feature and it's you know certainly not worth spending 575 dollars for a four megahertz single shot bandwidth um you know digital scope and it's just it's crazy really so the conclusion well you know pc based oscilloscopes have their place of course um you know you can pick them up quite cheap and if that's all you can afford well you know you could argue that you know it's it's good enough it's better than having no oscilloscope at all but in value for money comparisons with a um you know with a new technology bench oscilloscope like this rigol or some of the others on the market there's just really no comparison at all. You can't beat having a real bench scope. And I highly recommend you get one of these instead of a PC-based scope. And yes, I know what people are going to say again. There is no fundamental difference between a PC-based scope and a real bench scope. And yes, you'd be right. In theory, there really is no difference, or there shouldn't be a difference, between a PC-based scope and a, and a real uh, bench digital scope. Um, you know, it shouldn't make any difference whether you use a PC to display the waveform on the screen or whether you, uh, you know, display it on an LCD on a bench scope. But, as always, in practice, it's different. Because in practice, the uh, companies who make the PC-based um, scopes, they have a fundamentally different uh, mindset uh, when they're actually designing the unit. And they also um, often don't have the big engineering resources that a real uh, proper bench scope company like, you know, Rigol, Tektronix, Agilent and uh, LaCroix and those sort of companies have to put into these uh, units. So the differences between uh, PC-based scopes and, and a proper name brand bench scope can actually be a lot more than you think. There's lots of, um, you know, small things that, that really can make a big difference. Stuff like, you know, input protection and the vertical amplifier uh, performance, the noise floor, the uh, waveform processing speed, glitch capture, you know, uh, triggering uh, systems and things like that. All sorts of things that uh, really, um, if you want a good performance um, lab oscilloscope, you really need to get a bench one from a proper manufacturer and they they have refined these units over decades to have really good performance and PC based scope ones are really designed for different sort of markets they're lower cost simpler they're designed with a different mindset and uh, they're more towards the data logging and you know a spectrum analysis type end of things and you know it's it really is in practice there's a lot of difference so really I think uh, PC based scopes are more suited to what they're actually uh, better at and um, that is actually uh, you know multi-channel data logging applications and uh, higher um, higher resolution converters like you know a good 12 or 16 bit converter which you actually can't get in a um, you know a bench oscilloscope so I think if you're going to get a PC um, based scope, get one with a good uh, vertical front end, a high resolution front end and multi-channel that you can actually use for, you know, um, data logging capabilities and things like that that you can't really get with a good bench scope. 